Hey everyone, I wanted to go over the new and exciting news that we got for Monster Hunter Rise on the Nintendo Switch. Remember that any and all downloadable DLC that's dropping as of right now is still not available on the PC. So PC players will just have to wait until the end of February to be able to get any and all upcoming DLC. But today we're going to be going over the fact that Capcom went ahead and dropped in this week's DLC bundle a couple of brand new guild provisions. This is actually going to be free item rewards that anyone can go ahead and claim. And to do so, all you have to do is make your way down to the steelworks, speak to the courier cat, go all the way down to the add-ons option and claim anything that's able in white, be a free event quest, free item packs, or in this case, free specific rewards. And what we're looking at here is guild provisions number nine. They usually drop these whenever there's some sort of new information that they drop into the game or any sort of new events. Uh, presumably this one could be for the USJ uh, pro, uh, collaboration that was just dropped last week or maybe just because the fiscal dropped recently and they're providing new information regarding sales for the game. But when it comes to the actual rewards, what we're getting here today is 30 max potions, 20 ancient potions, 10 heavy armor spheres, 20 lazarite jewels, and 5 golden eggs. Every single time they always drop either gold or silver eggs because people will always want free money. Uh, lazarite jewels are pretty good to have. Heavy armor spheres are pretty easy to get if you're just doing end game content. And ancient mega potions and max potions are just always good to have regardless of how you decide to play. Free heals for everyone is always good. Once you claim these, you don't necessarily have to do anything else that would just become available in your bank. So you don't necessarily need to worry about doing anything else extra. They will be already there for you to go ahead and pick up and put in your pouch. As the name suggests, Guild Provisions number 5 is just a continuation of these type of rewards. So we're just hoping to see more and more as we get closer to the launch of Sunbreak. Usually, I believe the last ones that they provided us is when they dropped a brand new trailer for Sunbreak where uh, Luna Garen was revealed. So most likely this has something to do either with that or sales, which again, we're going to be going over soon as the fiscals are starting to drop. But that's about all the information that I wanted to go over today. If you are brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.